Welcome to What's On. I'll be your host, Ryan Don. We're at the Kelowna International Airport today, picking up spoken word artist Shane Coison. Uh, you may recognize him from the Olympics opening ceremonies. He uh, had a rather large debut there to two billion people. He's been very busy since, and he's got a new CD, a new book, and a new tour going across Canada. And he's got a concert coming to Kelowna on March 18th. Here's Shane Coison. Nobody knows who I am. Like, I mean, I, I walk down the street and I'm pretty anonymous, you know? Okay. So, I, like, I mean, in, in some places it's different, obviously. Yeah. And, and the facial hair is definitely recognizable for people that do know. For the people that know who I am, they know who I am. And no one ever comes up and stops okay. with me. They're like, that's Shane Coy's hand. Well, behind your back. Yeah, I know. And I'm just like, oh, God, do they think I can't hear them? Or, <laughs> I don't know. I usually just turn around and say, hey, thanks, man. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Yeah. So, because, you know... Fans a fan, you just treat them well. My mom told me that when I was a baby, a woman holding a baby girl asked her how much I weighed. My mom said she wasn't sure, but replied, no matter how big I was, I was all beautiful. To which the other woman remarked, well, no one ever thinks that their baby is the ugly baby. My mission is to find this woman and start dating her daughter. A right, uh, new book is called Our Deathbeds Will Be Thirsty. Really excited about this collection. Um, it's got a lot of sharp uh, turns in it, and uh, I think a lot of fans are really going like, to like like the depth of the collection. It's very diverse. Okay. Um, and there are poems in it that people have been asking for in print for ages. Uh, but the CD I'm super excited about. It's definitely our most mature offering today you know maybe it'll crack open some 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 leverage to get you know a spoken word award for the junos or something uh, the grammys uh, have one, the I mean, grammys have one. The, so there actually is no there is no spoken word award uh, for the junior this is my voice there are many like it but this one is mine people ask me all the time it's like why do you live in the valley you know why don't you just live in like one of the big cities the reason I live here is because I see the potential that the valley has for, you know, for arts and culture. Like, this really could be the arts and culture hub of BC. You've got so many great bands coming out of here. Yeah. You know, you've got uh, We Are The City, Yukon Blonde, Andrew Allen, yeah. uh, all these incredible artists, right? And we're not doing anything with them. You know, we're chasing them out of here because there's no opportunities for them here. Yeah. Why would they stay? Yeah. You know? So me, I guess I'm just stubborn, or they've tried to shake the board and I'm just hanging on. That's good. Uh, basically, the, the way the band started was, uh, I found it really difficult to sort of get people into the idea of, like, I mean, uh, immediately, a lot of the times when people hear the word poetry, they're running the other direction. You know, and it was always that challenge of like, how do I get them out to a show? Music gave me that sort of, you know, it, it just, it gave people, you know, it made them a little more comfortable. It's like, yeah. oh, okay, well, there's there's an element to this that I understand. Yeah. But performing with the band, I get jazzed. Like, I mean, it really opens up that emotional key that you're looking for. So sometimes when I perform a piece solo, it won't be as emotionally impact as I do when I do it with the band because... As when I hear that music, that that opens up those yeah. feelings, you know. Um, it's like, in a way, it's like muscle memory. It's like you know, you hear a song and you associate it with something. Yeah. And like, it, it really helps me to reconnect with my feelings around a certain piece. Like, honestly, I I believe I believe that when people hear this new album, it, it's just like it's some of the best work we've done. Sweet. Yeah. Well, thanks for sharing. Oh, no worries. Cool. See you guys soon. Shane Coyson performs March 16th at the Dream Cafe in Penticton and March 18th at the Rory Center for the Arts in Kelowna.